there's really an incredible depth of wisdom here that is often inaccessible. Often you have to go to India to find the depth of wisdom that you get in a place like this. I remember when we first got here, and at the physical level, it was absolute awe. We knew we wanted a place where we could share the teachings of yoga. I think all of us just felt that this, this was it. This was the place. Such extraordinary beauty in the pure nature, the pureness of the bush, it just grabbed us. So yoga is very much interconnected with the environment. If the nature is out of balance, it's a result of humans being out of balance. Even our thoughts have an effect. So in yoga, we transform or we begin to understand ourselves more and then we can apply that in the external world. So the word Swami means one who is on the path to knowing themselves. And so it's actually something that I'm aspiring to be. I'm aspiring to know myself. I'm aspiring to understand the essence of life. And I'm on the path like anybody else, but I might have a few extra tools up my sleeve and a little bit more experience because I've been doing it for many years now. The practices that we share go beyond touching your toes and twisting yourself into knots. We have different practices and different yogas to manage the heart, to manage the mind, and to manage our actions. We practice karma yoga as a formal meditation in which we are trying to bring awareness to mundane actions such as sweeping the floor, going to the garden, doing the dishes, the things that we do in each and every moment if we can bring awareness to them, we can use them to get in tune with our own strengths, our weaknesses, and to begin to direct ourselves in the way that we want to in order to move our lives in a positive direction. This is the most important practice because this is the practice you can take out into your daily life when you're stuck in the traffic. That's the real yoga. People think that if you want to do yoga, you have to close your eyes and meditate and you know be all serious but actually life is life is meant to be a, you know it's an inner party as well as an outer party of course we have fun sanskrit is related not to the meaning behind the words but rather the vibration that is created in the same way that you can make a high-pitched sound and break a glass. The sounds of Sanskrit are high vibrations that transform our physical body, our mental body. Because you come here doesn't mean you need to wear orange robes and wear dots on your head. People come from all walks of life. Some people come to change their health. Some might come to work with a crisis in their life or a difficulty in their mentality. Others come for spiritual transformation. Everyone is transforming in one way or another. That's really where we're all woven together as one. There's a real sense of community, a feeling of family. There's different ways to come to Anahat. You can make your own retreat, so you can either take a lot of time out for yourself and take a lot of extra walks and have time to breathe and read books, or you can come and integrate fully into the lifestyle and participate with the residents living here and all the activities. So it's up to you, really.
the Swamis that live here and pass through here have dedicated their entire lives to understanding themselves and whatever they've understood, they share that. We've got somebody who's both a Swami and a neurophysiologist. We have Swami Mukti Murti who comes, she's an expert in the sound yoga. Swami Mukti Dharma has had 40 years involved in this and 16 of those living directly with his inspirer. We're here to serve, we're here to share with people, to inspire people, to give them a little seed so that they can plant it in their own lives and grow it into a beautiful flower of transformation. I've always been told, try, try something and see what the experience is for yourself. Don't judge a book by the cover. I'm here and I think all of the people are here because we see that it's making a difference. It gives us an inspiration to keep walking because we're helping people, because people's lives are transforming in a positive way. And my life is transforming in a positive life and each and everybody who comes here is growing and learning and expanding. It's not a question of sitting in the Himalayas and uh, hiding out in a cave. We seek to engage with the world, with all the activities of the world, but with a different component, which is awareness. It's not about being spiritual, it's about being the best human being we can be, which is the most important. I don't call anybody, people who, people who, people come here, you know, I went a lot to so many countries, I went to the mountain, now the mountain comes to me, yeah, yeah. you know, there is a law of attraction, I have seen the right people coming here for some reason, they appear here, people have come, oh, I want to do woofing in this place, and these people who have come just for woofing, they end into the death of yoga. I have a person who got lost uh, from, a, from a helicopter. They fell down the wrong place. They were a rescue team. And one of them, they came here all wet. And then I gave tea to them and come, dry yourself. And one of them got so impressed. He came back again, and now he's living with me for eight and a half years. Yeah, so the right, the right people come to the right energy, and I don't believe in conquering people to come, no. The people who need this come here, yeah?